everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this modern day take on a vintage look kind of pinned up girl next door thing using Urban Decay's Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. Oh, I love this palette y'all. This is just one. Oh, this is just one of several looks that I plan on doing with this palette, especially since I think the palette itself is Pretty versatile. I'm going to be focusing today on uh, these colors Reflection, Chestboard, and Royal Flush. Those are the only three eyeshadow colors on the eyes right now. Keep this look, keep on watching. Okay, guys, now first off, I'm going to put a little lip balm on my lips. So they can uh, be moisturized by the time we have to put lipstick on. I did already moisturize and prime my face off camera and I also did my eyebrows. Um, that's a whole video unto itself so um, ain't nobody got time for that so <laughs> I did that ahead of time. Now let's start um, in on the eyes. I'm going to first put this eyeshadow primer by Essence. I'm going to do my eyeshadow first this time. I don't always do that. But if I'm afraid there might be a little fallout or if I want the look to be really, really precise, I'll do the eyeshadow first before the face makeup. I'm going to go in with um, the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk by NYX. I'm using this one over the other primer so that the colors we put on top show up a little bit more and they're um, a bit more vibrant. So I'm gonna start out with Reflection in the crease as my transition color. Nice fluffy brush. You want a soft transition. In the actual crease itself, I want a little bit of a sharper line. Again, not too hard. So I'm going to go in with a smaller, a uh, bit more precise brush. And I'm going to dip that into chest border. Using a nice shader brush, I'm going to go into Royal Flush. Royal Fix Plus on there. And then just tap it. Okay. I'm liking that. Now going in with that same brush in the crease and dipping chestboard, a little bit more product chestboard. So when I open my eye like this, it kind of disappears. And I don't want that, so I'm going to go a little bit further than I initially did and create like a faux crease. No way, no way. Look forward like that, you can see the one there. And now with that same, the first brush we used, a little bit more of that transition color, not too much, and kind of go over the crease line and diffuse it with the transition color. Can you see how that diffuses that line there real nice? Okay. That. For this look, I feel it's all about the wing. In my opinion, most pinup looks are kind of all about the wing. We're gonna go in. Now initially I'm gonna start with my um, ink liner uh, pen by Kat Von D just to kind of draw it out first. It's just easier to kind of work with. And I'm gonna start out kind of, you can see where your bottom lash line, if you continued it up like that is what I'm gonna do. 
and just down here. Move it down. got that initial stuff down I'm gonna go in with my TARDIS uh, clay paint liner and I'm gonna fill in the line we just made almost like you used to do back in the day when you were coloring in your coloring book you fill in between the lines there The reason I'm going in with this clay liner instead of using the pen the entire time is although it doesn't bother me, the ink liner pen um, has like a slight sheen to it and for this look I think I want it to be matte, a matte black, so that's why I'm going in with this one afterwards. Tip, tip, tip. Can be a little nerve-wracking and trust me it's even harder when you're talking while you're doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm liking it. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes to get them ready for the full size. Okay now I did put the lashes on off camera that is too hard to do for me on camera anyway but I did um, curl the lashes put a little mascara just on the top lashes I haven't done the bottom lashes yet um, I'll do that once we're done with the concealer and the face makeup and all that stuff but um, now let's do the other eye okay now both eyes are done let's move on um, to the face now first things first I'm going to use this um, Clinique Beyond Perfecting um, Foundation and Concealer. It's in the color uh, 7 Cream Chamois. Cream Chamois? Chamois? I'm not sure if it's French. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll be French. Um, now, I'm using it more for color correction, but it's a little kind of peachy tone for use on my entire face. So, what I do is I will put it. Um, on certain areas using my beauty blender. I'm gonna put it here where I have some scars to kind of color correct underneath any concealer or foundation I put on top. Now it looks a little, if you can see, it looks a little peachy. but it cancels out the darkness underneath, and that's what I want. Okay, I know it looks a little funny, but it'll disappear when I put everything else on. Now, since we're doing a, like a modern day um, pinup look, I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector mixed in with my foundation. Now this one happens to be an opal, so I'm just going to add just a tad, just a little bit. You don't need very much. And then mix it on the back of my hand here. Now this um, Makeup Forever HD foundation has really good coverage, so I don't need very much. I'm just going to spray my flat kabuki. Mix it together on my hand. Now the reason I use the back of my hand as opposed to like an actual palette is I like the products to warm up on my hand. I feel it goes on a bit smoother. Careful 
I'm going around my eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just tap that in. And can you see how it kind of adds a little bit of the luminosity? Which I feel is a more modern take on this look. Because we all want that glowing skin. So I'm adding glowing skin to a vintage look. Now to really help it feel adhere even better to the skin, I'm going to really saturate my skin. I'm fix this. So it's obviously wet. And while I'm waiting for it to almost completely dry and become almost kind of tacky, I'm gonna add a little bit of my Naked Skin uh, concealer, just right in the darkest parts of the makeup circle over there. And then right in the center for a little highlight too. I'm just gonna focus it right here. And now that the Fix Plus is almost completely dry on my face, I'm going to take a flatter, bigger end and just kind of push, push all that product in. I find this technique really helps my makeup stay on pretty much all day. Will not budge. And now I'm going to sculpt out that nose using my Smashbox uh, contour sticks. The lighter one is just called Highlight. It's just going to go right on the bridge of my nose. Just Again, that flatter and then just pushing. And I'm taking the contour stick and lightly I just bring it to there and using my ring finger and the warmth of my hand and I'm just gonna that out with my finger. Now any place you put cream, you gotta set with powder. So I'm going to be using my Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder by um, L'Oreal to set my face. And even with the powder over the top, you can still kind of see that luminosity peeking through from that skin protector. So, now down the bridge of the nose, I'm, um, I'm going to be using a lighter powder. It's transparent um, by Rimmel, the Stay Matte. I like my hula bronzer for this look especially. There's absolutely no redness or um, oranginess to the powder. It's a pretty cool tone. And just go over where you went with the cream, just kind of sets it and defines it just a bit more. It looks a bit harsh right now, but we're going to blend that in just a sec. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a brush that it comes with dab in there. Create that. Sheet 
just have to draw one here and there. Now using, this is actually a Sephora um, powder foundation, but it's in a very deep color. Uh, it's called Deep, <laughs> number 60. And a fluffier brush, see that's really dark. Too dark for me, but I use it as a bronzer, a little contour. Knock off most of it, and then just blend out the harsh lines there. Especially with my hair up and back, you definitely want to blend, blend, blend. If there's any crazy harsh lines, you're going to see it. Just a little bit more. Kind of bronze up. That's what you here. Soften up that line. A little bit of temples. Now, with no product at all, I'm just going to take a nice fluffy kabuki brush and just kind of buff. I'm going in over the on the nose contour. And see how it softens it up there. And a little blush. I'm using kind of like a pinky, dusty, rosy kind of blush. This is Blush Baby by MAC. Faves Laura Mercier and Discretion for my highlight. And this brush here. I just kind of want to smile and then I on the edges. And there we go. And just keep buffing down a little bit, back a little bit. So the concentration is on the apple, but you're kind of buffing it into the skin a little bit, so it's not so harsh. Now for the bottom lash, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. My favorite roller lash by Benefit. And I'm going to concentrate probably, most likely, yeah, I think. I'm just going to do outer lashes. See that? Now the reason I'm only focusing on the outer lashes is I think it gives you more of like a doe-eyed doll face look. On to the lip. Now, it's going to be a red lip, but it's never just one thing with me, is it? And I'm going to do two different lip pencil pencils. Um, one is in Wild Berry by Avon, and the other is Kiss Me Quick by Mac. I'm going to focus the darker one on the outside of the mouth here. Just a quick in the center. And now for lipstick, I'm going to be using, let's see what it's called, So Rouge by Marc Jacobs. Outside, and it's a bit darker than the red you're going to use in the center. I'm going to be using this color. Oh, I think I rubbed off the name, but it's uh, says number 511 by NYX. 
Oh no, chaos on the top. Chaos. And that's gonna go in the center. Don't be intimidated by red. I'd say most skin tones look really good in red. You just need to find the red that suits you. Define the ends a little bit with a darker color. And don't talk while you do this because then you'll do what I did and make a mistake. There you go. Problem solved. Oh, you know what? Let's do our starting spray. After all that work, we wanted to stay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, you know, give me ideas of what um, videos you might want me to create for you. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.